Oh, when that low blood sugar hits, you want to eat everything in sight. I get it, but you don't want to do that. When it comes to treating low blood sugar, there's a few things you need to know. The first is, of course, avoiding foods that have fat and protein in them because it slows down digestion. The second is that it actually can make a difference on what type of sugar is in the foods that you choose to treat low blood sugar. I know it might seem silly. How big a difference could there be between one type of candy and the other? But it can really matter. The longer it takes to digest, the longer you're gonna be low. Different types of sugar break down and spike your blood sugar at different rates. Your body actually has to take the sugar in the food you eat and convert it into glucose which is the type of sugar in your bloodstream. The more it takes for your body to break down and convert the type of sugar in the candy that you choose, the longer it takes for that sugar to raise your blood sugar. In non-fat candies, usually the first ingredient is the type of sugar. You might see corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, sugar, or the best one, the one that is fastest at raising your blood sugar, dextrose. Dextrose is the only ingredient in glucose tabs, glucose gels, products that are intended for raising your blood sugar quickly. The reason dextrose is used in those products is because it's already the same chemical makeup as glucose in your bloodstream. So your body doesn't have to convert it in order to use it. So it's much faster at raising your blood sugar. But there are a variety of candies that have dextrose as the first ingredient. Good old Smarties, dextrose. Old school bottle caps, dextrose. Sweet tarts, dextrose. Another one I couldn't find was pixie sticks. Will these candies raise your blood sugar when you're low? Yes, but their first ingredients are sugar then corn syrup. Both of those types of sugar have to first be broken down and then converted into glucose. So it takes a little longer. Let's talk about the candy you shouldn't choose to treat low blood sugar. Basically anything with chocolate in it is gonna have a lot of fat and some protein and that fat and protein is gonna slow down the digestion, which means it's gonna take longer for your blood sugar to rise. Bag of M&Ms, nine grams of fat. That's gonna slow down digestion. Two Twix bars, 12 grams of fat. Snickers bar, 11 grams of fat. Not a great choice to treat a low blood sugar. This skinny little Hershey's bar, 13 grams of fat. One Reese's Big Cup, 12 grams of fat. A Crunch bar, 12 grams of fat. Even though all of those chocolate treats have a lot of sugar in them, that fat is gonna slow down the digestion and it's gonna slow down how long it takes for that Reese's cup or that Hershey's bar to raise your blood sugar during hypoglycemia. There's a few chocolatey options that are actually low in fat, like Junior Mints, York Peppermint Patties, and Tootsie Rolls. If you gotta go for the chocolate, those would be the better ones to choose. Remember these guidelines. Eat 15 grams of non-fat carbohydrates then wait 15 minutes and check your blood sugar again. If you take insulin for any type of diabetes, you should also ask your doctor about emergency glucagon. Glucagon is a hormone and it tells your liver to release stored glucose. During severe hypoglycemia, emergency glucagon is kind of like the EpiPen for people with diabetes. Today they make these really easy to use one-step injections of glucagon for severe hypoglycemia. They're usually intended for someone else to administer on you during an emergency where you're unable to eat, but some people have used them on themselves during really scary lows. Ask your doctor about today's newest emergency glucagon options. That was good. Thanks for watching, Diabetes Nerd. Learn how to prevent lows during exercise right here. Find it on Amazon. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and like this video.